let the 10, 11 million people who are here now, working now, begin to buy into Social Security, pay into Social Security, pay into taxes, pay their fair share, and over a 10-year period, they will earn their way into citizenship. All right. So here at the debate on whether or not illegals should get into the Social Security program, we've got immigration attorney Francisco Hernandez, trainers from Dallas, Hi. and sen- good morning, and senior policy director with the Conservative Partnership Institute, uh, Rachel Bovard. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. All good right, morning. Francisco, let's start with you. Kristen Gillibrand right, has thanks. made this suggestion. When she was a senator, uh, she has not proposed this in the Senate, but now that she's running for president, she thinks it's a great idea. And I bet you do, too. Uh, well, uh, if you really look at the age of our population, there, the number of people that are going to be drawing Social Security in the very near future is going to drive Social Security broke unless we get some new contributors. It makes sense if they're going to pay into it. Sure, it's the same contract that anybody that was born here has. We need people to start contributing to Social Security. Mind you, there's still about a 700 uh billion suspense fund within the social security system that we right. can't touch because it's been cont- contribu- con- its contributions okay. from undocumented immigrants over the decades and decades and decades and that money's just sitting there and we can't touch it because we don't know who it belongs to so we ought to at least get them a chance to identify themselves and start paying into it for years in my retirement all right so rachel he says that the social security system is broken and if we had all these new people paying in maybe it would survive Well, what's interesting is that some illegal immigrants do pay into Social Security. The Mm -hmm. IRS allows this. They don't tell ICE about it. Uh, And the system is still going broke. The trustees tell us Social Security will be bankrupt by 2034. Uh, But I think ultimately the issue here uh, is that we're talking about illegal immigrants paying into Social Security. We're not dealing with the crisis at the border. Uh, And the issue there is unless we get it under control, we have to stop incentivizing people to come here or we're never going to fix this. And Francisco, she made a Christian Gillibrand made it very clear this is essentially the pathway to citizenship. This is something that has needed to be addressed by our Congress for decades. And yet, and here's a member of Congress who's saying, look, uh, you make me president. I'm going to do my best to do this. She hasn't done anything regarding this as a sitting senator from New York State. Oh, sure. Listen, Congress has been chickening out for about 19 years yeah. now, not addressing the issue because it's a juicy political issue. We need a, a, a scapegoat to promote our politics. We could solve. I mean, we've had Democrat Congress. We had a Republican Congress in charge for six years that could have passed any laws, no matter what. And they're not going to. So that is true. But, you know, social paying into Social Security doesn't get you citizenship or legal residency at all. As I said, there's about a $700 billion suspense fund where the IRS and the Social Security system have been receiving these payments. And uh, we can't even touch it because we don't know who it belongs to. Rachel, I'll give you the final word. Well, I think dealing with this issue is the equivalent of Nero fiddling while Rome burns. The more we incentivize people (laughs) to come here, the more we're going to have a crisis (laughs) at the border, sexual assault at the border, uh, more drugs coming across the border. We're never going to fix the problem if we we don't stop incentivizing people to come here. We need to deal with border security first before we even get to proposals like this. We can fix it by not hiring people. (laughs) We can fix it uh, by building a wall at the border or by starting to crack down on uh, actual illegal crossers. We saw 76,000, the highest since 2008. This is an issue. Uh, Francisco's right, though. Let's just stop hiring. If you turn off the job magnet, people will stop coming. All right. Great conversation on this Friday morning. Rachel and Francisco, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right.